with one another, it's a gatekeeper to learning. It's absolutely essential. I was in a middle school in Texas, and the principal decided they were going to do an exercise as the beginning of the school year. And when the faculties came in, there was a sheet of paper around a room like this with every student's name. Gave every faculty member 10 stars and said to them, put a star underneath the name of the student that you know well. You know what they like, you know what they're engaged in for activities. You have conversations with that student at least two to three times a week outside your classroom. How many students do you think had no stars when they were done? Thousand pupil school. Over 50% of the kids had no stars. Key revelation, how, if we can't build that relationship and we don't know our kids, it's much harder to hit the level of rigor that Common Core is going to ask us to do. We also, one of the critical things, as you know, and I can already feel the energy in this room from all of your school districts, you have to build a sense of trust, uh, camaraderie. You have to be able to ensure that you can have fun, and I, that's very evident in this group. But what are those threads of interest with our students, with ourselves, that we're going to be able to build upon? And I also want you to start to begin to think about it, your action plans. Now, based on the conversations I've had this morning, some of you are already um, immersed in the Common Core. How many of you have already begun to implement Common Core in your classrooms? So a few of you. How many of you are at the awareness level? Start just getting to know Common Core. Okay, quite a few. And then the rest of you, where are you? What was that? Fluid? Clueless. Clueless. Okay. <laughs> How many of you are in the clueless stage? Okay. So I'm going to try to make sure I hit the continuum for you today. But I also want you to be thinking about when you go back, what are the action steps? What, are, what will you need to implement in your schools to be successful with these new standards? and to be ready for PARC. PARC is the Partnership for um, Assessing Readiness for College and Career. Oklahoma is a governing state in PARC. I also want to put a disclaimer on the table for you all you heard in my introduction. I'm the policy coordinator for uh, the other assessment consortium called Smarter Balance. Um, we do work back and forth across the consortium, and I'm going to try to give you linkages to uh, the expectations with PARC. Both consortia are going to measure Common Core. We're having conversations. We do some work in partnership together. Uh, but So I just want to put that disclaimer because I will show you a few things from Smarter just because each of the consortia are in different places. And wherever I go, I encourage teachers to watch both websites because both consortia are preparing tools for teachers around the Common Core and you want as much access as possible. So I also want us 
to be thinking about our kids, and I'm going to try to make some connections for you as you think about Common Core, because Common Core is going to ask you to do some things differently. The new assessment is going to be delivered online, and we're, we're going to recognize that our kids are digital natives. And as digital natives, we want to make sure that they're going to be prepared for a global world. I'm going to share some things with you. I am fortunate. I, as I shared with you, I've come from the state of Maine. My whole educational career has been in Maine. And we have had one-to-one -one technology in middle school since 2002 and in our high school since 2008. It has dramatically changed the learning environment, the culture. And fortunately for us, we had two governors who said Maine kids were going to graduate being the most digitally savvy in the world. It has prepared us for coming core. We've learned a lot, and I'll share some of that with you as well. 